Hello guys, welcome to my channel HVR Tutorials. In this video, we will discuss about what is meant by an Apache POI and how we can download and set up this Apache POI in our Java projects. Okay, so let's get started. So first we'll see what is meant by an Apache POI. So Apache POI is an API which is provided by Apache Foundation. So this foundation is actually established to support the Apache projects. So here this Apache POI is a collection of Java libraries. So here Java library is nothing but a jar file. So these jar files helps us in performing the operations on MS Office files. Okay. MS Office files means MS Excel or MS Word or MS Outlook or MS PPT. Okay. So what are the operations? The operations are nothing but like reading and writing and updating. Okay. So for example, you have an Excel sheet. Okay. You want to read the data from the Excel sheet or you want to write some data into Excel sheet or you want to modify the existing data. So all these kind of operations can be performed by using Apache PY. So basically we have two types of files in MS Office. Okay. The first one is older version of MS Office files and the next one is newer version of MS Office files. So here in the left side you can see these are the older versions of MS Office files and the right side this one is newer versions of MS Office files. So why we are actually differentiating this because when we are downloading and adding this Apache PY jars into our project, there are actually different kinds of jars for each version. Okay. So for older version, there are separate jars and for newer version, there are different set of jars. Okay. So if you see for the Excel older version, that is dot XLS version, we need to import this PY jars. Okay. So if you are using the Maven, so these are the Maven artifacts. Okay. Whatever I have mentioned here, these are the Maven artifacts. So PY Maven artifact we need to use. If you are using newer version of Excel, then you need to import PY plus PY OO XML. So the same way if you are just working with documents or PPT, the older version, then you need to import PY plus PY scratchpad PY. And if you are working with newer version of PPT and documents, then PY plus PY OO XML. So now we will see how we can actually download this and set up with our project. So let me just open the Chrome browser. I'll just type Apache PY. Okay. So here open the first link py.apache.org. So here it will open the home page. Okay. You have to just click on this download button. So if you are using the normal Java project, not the Maven project, only the plain Java project, then you can download this one. Okay. So here if you see we have two versions binary distribution. And the next one is source distribution. So the difference is actually if you download the source distribution, you have to compile the projects. Okay. So this will give the complete source file kind of thing. So if you compile them, then the jar files will be generated. Okay. You have to use the jar file. But if you use this binary distribution, they are already compiled. Okay. So they will give only jar files. So in the binary distribution, again, we have two files here. If you see, okay. So one is tar. And the another one is zip. So if you are working with any Linux or something, then you can go for tar. Otherwise, you can simply download the zip file. For Windows, zip file is the better option. Okay. So if you are using the normal Java project, then this is the option for you. Okay. Just click on this. So it will take you to this page. So select any mirror here. Okay. The HTTP. I will just select this one. See, it is downloading. Okay. So if you want to download the older versions, now we have downloaded the latest version, right? So here always the latest version will be displayed latest stable version. Okay. So if you want to download the older versions, just come down in the same page here. You can see release archives. Okay. Just click on binary artifacts. So from this one, you can pick the version whichever you want. Okay. So you can see here from 3.0 to 4.1.2. All the versions are available here. Okay. So you can pick any version, whatever is suitable to you. Okay. So here the tar files and the zip files both are available. Okay. You can pick zip or tar. So now I have downloaded that. Okay. So this is the downloaded folder. I'll just open. So inside that we have py1 folder. So inside that we have again jar files. Okay. So if you don't know like which jar file you need to pick and all. You can simply blindly add all the jar files available in this one. 
okay to your project add all the jar files to build the path okay so from here to here and in the lib folder again you have some jar files okay these jar files also and then we have o xml lib so these also you need to add so you have to add all these jar files to the project build path so you will be able to perform operations on xls and xlsx like the older version of ms office files and newer version of ms office files so the similar way now we will see how we can download this from maven okay so here just type maven repository okay so go to this one so here you need to type apache py so in this one so this is the artifact okay so as i mentioned for xls you need to download only py okay if you are working with xlsx then py plus py o xml okay so let me show you so this is py okay so first we need to add this one so in this also you can pick the version from here so i'll just copy this i will add it to my eclipse okay so this is my maven project i will add here so if you are working with only xls this py is enough if you are working with xlsx then you need the other one also that is py o xml right so this is the py o xml this is the artifact id okay you can pick this one copy and add it here so the similar way if you are working with the documents or ppt you need to add the py scratch pad py and py o xml so here i have added and these are downloaded okay so let me just create any test file test excel okay so i am just showing you whether it is added or not so for handling excel for the older version of excel we need to use hssf okay so if you type hssf here the references are coming right from the org.apache.py so that means these jar files are actually added so for the newer version of excel file you need to add xssf okay see the XSSF references are also coming here. That means you can handle the older versions and the newer versions also here. So that is about downloading and adding this Apache PY to the projects. Okay. So in the normal project, what you need to do, you need to add all these files, okay, all these library files from this folder and this folder and this these libraries, all these to build path. So here I will show you one more thing. So here, if you want to know, like I have shown here, right? Like for XLS file, you need to add this one. For XLSX, then you need to add this one. So where you can get this information? Let me show you. So here, just go to component APIs, okay? So if you come down, you see component map is there, right? So here, it will show you. For Excel, XLS, you need to add PY only. Okay, so this is the Maven artifact ID, PY. See, we have used component HSSF and we were able to see, right? And if you want to add the Excel SX, then PY over XML. So you need to also check this one, the bottom one. For adding this PY over XML here, you need to have these things as prerequisite. PY is the prerequisite, okay? So the other things will by default come from the PY. So PY is the prerequisite, okay? So the similar way, if you want to work with older version of Word document, this is the one, PY scratch pad. If you want to work with newer version of Word document, this one, PY over XML. So again, for PY over XML, PY is the prerequisite, okay? So from here, you can get the information, okay? So in the next video, we will see how we can actually read and write the data from these excel files or document files okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoy this video if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching bye bye